Welcome to the support video for Workload Automation video series. This video will demonstrate how to configure Automation API Session Timeout. Automation API Session Timeout is configurable since version 918 Fixed Track 200. There's no external parameter to control token expiration, which has coded for 1800 seconds or 30 minutes. One expired, Lockout API will trigger a return code of 200 for validation and 404 for expired token respectively. To configure session timeout, we need to run one of the following commands depending on the platform running in your environment, as shown in the screen. The syntax of the command show as below. Automation underscore API underscore config space hyphen token underscore timeout and filled up with a session token timeout. Where the session token timeout is the time in second until the session's token expired when the session has been idle. The default is 1800 second or 30 minutes. The maximum value that you can set is limited by the EM system parameter max user timeout second, which has a default value of three hours. Restart the API process is required after applying the changes. Below is a procedure describing how to configure the length of time late automation API session is allowed to demand idle before the session token timeout in window platform. In this case, we are going to increase the timeout to an hour, which is 60 minutes or 36,000 seconds. And the command will be looked like on the screen. Automation API config and hyphen token underscore timeout set to 36,000. As you can see, the command will automatically restart the API process to make it effective. Thank you, and that concludes this Control M video solution. Please see our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this.